We'll begin with a quick review with additional technique of a bronze two group. Just to get things started, here it is with music. I will go through some fundamental techniques of good dancing and then give you some more advice to bring up to silver level. Yeah? We always start with the ABCs of standard technique. Posture, frame, position. Posture, four blocks away. Wendy, I'll use you. The head, the shoulders, the rib cage, the hips should all be lined up, nothing crooked. Pulled up nice and straight through the use of the internal muscles. Flex the knee so you always entangle because there's no rise and fall entangle. You always have a crease line, an angle in the hips and the knees are forward. The frame, elbows wide. The position, right side to right side. And as I turn around, you can take a look at the tangle hole with the man's right hand into the lower back of the lady and the lady's left hand palm down underneath the man's arm, her left elbow wrapping around my right elbow. So there you go, panoramic view of the tango hole and position. In addition, the body, upper body has a slight rotation to the left. So we always have a curve walk as a result. <clears throat> no rise and fall and tangle, no body swing, simply walk. Walk and the link, slow, slow, quick. On the link, I want to rotate my body while I'm standing on my left foot. Lady is rotating her body while she's standing on the right foot. And I pull the right arm back to prominent position. I think from this angle you see it better. You see the rotation and the right hand going back. And the lady will fit nicely behind the man in prominent position. Show that one in. Posture, frame, position. Walk, walk, stop, rotation, link. Open promenade, slow, quick, quick, slow. Now it's very important that you are balanced on your own. There is no twisting, leaning, falling, anything. And you take a look at Wendy, she's on the back foot, the body is straight. Even though she's stretching, the body weight is very much forward, not leaning back onto the heel. Likewise, I am in CBMP position on the other side, of course, and I'm straight. I'm not which what most men tend to do. I'll show it to you from the other angle, from prominent Wendy. This would be wrong. Now look at us, we are barely hanging on. Now let's fix it. There. Two balanced vertical bodies. Parallel to each other, not like this. That's because we are in CBMP with the my center towards Wendy center. Outside swivel. The man must turn his body to the right and bring the right arm back. You can see that from that angle. If I don't turn and I don't bring the right arm back, I get a squeeze something like this. And that's totally awkward. Yeah? So outside swivel. Rotation of the body, right arm coming back. 
So once again, we are very poised, very balanced, nothing grotesque, contorted. Prominent link, the lady turns, use the hips for fast action. Brush tap, quick, quick, and slow. And a lot of people mess that up because they're going for the icing and no cake. They're going all kinds of things, but nothing in the legs and body. Yeah? So watch the DVD several times in slow motion. Look at how steady we are with each step. One, two, in, tap. And the close promenade with a quick turn on the third step. When could you show them by ourselves the close promenade stopping on the third step? Slow, quick, quick. We both finish in a turn. We're on this foot. And we just close without doing anything. That would be a nice close promenade. And that gives you a quite an uh, overview of good bronze and silver level technique for the tango. We'll see you on the first silver group next.